Maya and Kathy from the Dell Fuel Co. Company. I love quilting and I share the projects I'm working on via this channel. This video is part of a series that's happening throughout the summer and will wrap up in September and it's a nine week quilt along. So if you're looking to try some new blocks and learn some new quilting skills, I encourage you to check it out. All the information on this block and the past blocks is gonna be on our website at delfieldquiltco.com. If you look at quilt alongs and then 2024 summer quilt along, once you click on that, you'll see all the videos and instructions that you can download. So I am camping this weekend and I did make this video in my camper so I apologize if you hear air conditioners running or dogs. Um, not ideal for shooting a video, but I still wanted to get the black done. And I think it turned out pretty good. All right, let's get started with black number six. All right, so I've already got all my pieces cut for black number six. And we're gonna get started with pieces B and piece of C. And basically we're just going to sew one of the B's to one of the C's. We're going to sew along the long side here and the same with the other one. And you do want to use a scant quarter inch when sewing this. Otherwise your pieces are going to be a little bit off and you'll find that the size isn't quite right for your block. All right, so I've got these lined up and I'm just going to do a quarter inch along the long side. All right, I am using my quarter inch foot on this, but even with that, I have have to adjust my needle just slightly. And I'll show you what I do on my machine. I move my needle just one spot over, and this is a Burnett 38. Some machines are different and they have different knobs or maybe the needles don't move, but this is what I like to do is I move it one spot over, and then I'm using my quarter inch foot. And by doing that, I should have my, my scant quarter inch. I will test the scant quarter inch after we get this piece of sewn. I'll show you how to do that with your ruler just to make sure that it's right before you get too far into this block. All right, so once you have this sewn together, we're gonna just press the seams so that they're open. These pieces are a little bit small, so I like to press the seams just to make sure that they lay nice and flat. And now to test your scant quarter inch, we're just gonna measure this quick just to make sure we've got the right size. So this should measure two and a half inches wide, which mine does, so that means my scant quarter inch should be pretty good to proceed. And now we're gonna subcut these down into one and a half inch sections. And when you're doing this, you just wanna make sure you use the line on your ruler right on the seam line. Just make sure you've got it nice and straight. And we should get eight of these out of each of these sets for a total of 16 of these little pieces. All right, now that I've got these all cut, we're just gonna turn these into little fork edges. And you just want the colors to be opposite that you're going to sew it next to. All right, I'm going to sew these little guys together. And you're going to do all of these so that they're those little four patches. And I'm not pinning these or anything. I'm just making sure that I'm going to line up the seams. And since they're so little, I just I don't feel like I need a pin. But you certainly could pin it if you'd like to. Right, I've got all of my little four patches sewn and I just did one right after another. I'm going to cut these little guys apart and then I'm going to press the seams open again. Okay, and these little pieces should measure two and a half inches square when you're all done. If yours doesn't measure two and a half inch squares, maybe just check to make sure that your scant quarter inch is really a scant quarter inch. These ones look pretty good, but I'm going to set these aside. All right, now we're gonna make the center of the black and I'm gonna use pieces E and F. And we're just gonna make two at a time half square triangles, two sets of those. And first you just need to draw a diagonal line down the buttercup pieces. I already got one drawn there, so I'm just gonna draw the second. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that I like to go just a tiny little bit over from the point of the diagonal just to allow for the thickness of my writing utensil. And I am using a fabric friendly pen. And this type of pen 
It's great for these kind of lines, but it's one of those erasable ones that can erase with friction from the end here or just with an iron. Now, I do know that if you use it for drawing other places that are going to still be seen in your project, sometimes a little cold, those lines can show up faintly. So just make sure you're using that in places that you're not going to see on your project. All right, so I'm going to just place one of these buttercup squares on the nice pink here. I'm not sure what color that is. Well, I think it's nectar. So I'm going to place it on one of those. Make sure all your corners are lined up nicely. And then I'm going to sew a quarter inch along both sides of the line for both of these sets. And then we're just going to cut right on that diagonal line. And I'm going to press towards the darker color. And then we just need to trim off the little dog ears. And this should measure two and a half inches square. You might need to trim it a little bit more. And if you do that, I would recommend that you use the 45 degree mark of your ruler and make sure that's on the seam here, the diagonal seam. And then try to make sure that your two and a half points are gonna also line up so that you have nice clean corners. And I'm just going to repeat that with the other three half square triangles. All right now that I've got these all turned up, I'm just going to make a pinwheel block out of here. All right, so I've got my pinwheel block here. All right, I'm just going to sew these pieces together. When you're sewing these together, just make sure you've got those diagonal seams nice and lined up. And that way your corners won't be off. And I'm just going to press these seams open before I sew the two sections together of this center of the square. And I'm just making sure that I'm lining up those seams. All right, I got a nice little pinwheel here. I'm just going to again press those seams open. Normally I like to press seams to the side. There's just, there's so many points here where the seams come together that I just feel like it's a little bit easier for me to press the seams open when it gets a little bulky. But you certainly could press these whichever way you'd like. Okay, center of the block is finished. Let's set that aside. Now we're going to work on these rectangles and we're going to add some kind of, I don't know if you call it half square rectangles or half square triangles, but we're going to add some of those pieces so that we have a corner triangle here and another one up here. All right, so I'm using A and I'm using D. I'm only using eight of the A. I'm using rectangles G for the first set. And again, you just want to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of these squares here. So I'm going to need four of the A, four of the D. Basically, I put one of each on these rectangles. And let me just show you the order for this one. So it's going to be opposite for the next set we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to put one of the yellow ones, one of the buttercups, so that the diagonal goes from upper left to lower right, and it's on the bottom half of this rectangle. I'm just going to go ahead and place them all here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sew these on, and then we'll come back and we'll put this last set of squares on. All right, and when you're sewing these pieces on, you just need to sew right on the diagonal line. So make sure you have that centered with your needle. All right, now that I've got that sewn, I'm just going to cut these apart. And then I'm going to trim off the corner here. You want to make sure you're trimming the right spot and not towards the rectangle. Otherwise you're going to ruin your little piece here. And I'm going to trim about a quarter inch from that sewn line. And then I'm going to press towards the triangle. Okay, now we're going to repeat that process with the upper part of the rectangle. 
and these A squares here. And again, you want the diagonal going from the upper left down to the bottom right. And just like before, I'm going to sew right on that drawn line. All right, again, I am going to cut, and I'm going to cut towards the corner, not towards the rectangle, and at a quarter inch. Okay, now we're going to move on to the other rectangle sets, and that's going to be rectangle I. And I'm going to need square H and four more of square A. And again, just draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the squares. Okay, very similar to the other set we just sewed, but we are going to go the opposite direction. So instead of starting from the left, we are going to start from the top right down to the bottom left. And then I'll come back and sew the A squares on. And again, I'm going to sew right on that drawn line. Again, I'm going to trim towards the corner about a quarter inch. And I'm going to press towards the triangle. All right, just like before, we're going to take the A square. And again, I want to go from the top right this time to the bottom left. Okay, we are almost done with this block. I'm going to bring back our little four patches here. Well, let me show you how I'm going to lay it out. Okay, and to sew this together, I'm going to sew these rectangle pieces together first. I'm going to sew the four patches with the little white squares. And then I will put the rest together. And when you're sewing the rectangles together, just take your time to make sure that those diagonal seams are going to line up. And then the points should turn out pretty good on these pieces. And there we have the finished block number six. You may have noticed this, but the last um, two blocks, this one and block five, have a little bit of an Irish chain going on here. You're going to see that in the next blocks too, because that's going to be what ties this little quilt project together. Thank you so much for watching this. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit us at DelphiaQuiltCo.com. And if you're sewing along, I would love to see your pictures. If you could please send me an email, I'll put my email link in the show notes. Have a great day.